Andrew, start it now. What? I don't know. Continue. Well, you're busy there. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted me to record it. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> no. I was in the States visiting my family. And my partner's my partner, Josh Rovenfeld, was down at the farm. And uh, he was walking along carrying his machete without the sheath. You know, you, what good is the sheath if you run into a snake? You know? Yeah, right. So, and he tripped and fell on his machete and sliced his fingers across here and cut all of his, his tendons. Oh my God. And about three miles away from us, off of our, once we get off our property, which was three miles long, mm -hmm. uh, he crossed a big river there was a, a Marian old priest that was that had built a little little house out there. Oh, oh. Chapel house. Say that again, what priest? Marian old priest. Marino? Catholic priest. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he wasn't there, but one of his Indian guys was there, and, and the priest had a, a radio. So my oh. partner went, went across the big river there, mm -hmm. under their property over there, and, and uh, got on the radio and uh, the Civil Air Patrol in Guatemala City got a hold of one of their guys. He says, I'll fly out there and get him. So he did. He flew out there and the priest had a little runway so he could get in there. <laughs> it wasn't man. And he was, took my partner yeah, back to Guatemala City where, so he could get up and he found a doctor that could salvage his fingers. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't have to duct tape them or wrap them with. No, I don't know what he did. Leaves. I wasn't there. But, <laughs> you know. Oh, thank you. So anyhow, just on and on. You know, a lot of, a lot of things.